Now I'm going to show you how to use the Google Keyword Planner to find negative keywords, and more specifically, how you can use a spreadsheet from the Keyword Planner, edit that spreadsheet, and then add a long list of negative keywords um, all at once. So to get started, we need to pull up the Keyword Planner, and the easiest way would be to go to Google and simply search Keyword Planner. It should be the top result. And you should be familiar with this tool. Um, if not, I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, this is basically used to find keyword ideas for your campaigns. So it will show you different data related to keywords for AdWords, um, including search volume and estimated cost per click. And using that data, we can also find negative keywords. So to get started, we'll click here, search for new keyword and ad group ideas. For this example, I will look for keywords related to the word plumber. So we'll enter plumber there. Uh, we don't need to enter anything else. The targeting, you might want to change to your country or uh, if you have a sp specific localized service, you could change it to your city or state. I'm going to leave it at the United States. Um, again, nothing else here needs to be changed for this. And we're going to click Get Ideas. So the page that it takes you on here, um, if you scroll down a little, it's going to show you ad group ideas, uh, which isn't something we want, but we want our keyword ideas. So we'll click this tab here. Okay, so you can see it's showing us the search term plumber. Uh, this is the average number of times that 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 keyword gets searched per month. Uh, Google's suggested bid, if we were to target the entire US with that keyword, that's how much they're suggesting we bid. Um, if you scroll down then, you'll see related keywords. So again, this tool is usually used to find keywords, um, but as you're going through looking for keywords, you'll want to pay attention to any negative keywords you'd want to add also. So if you're offering plumbing services, you'd probably want to add salary as a negative keyword. Um, depending on where you are, you'd probably want to add some of these different cities as uh, negative keywords as well. Um, so let's look at how we can do this a little faster. Because um, yes, we could look down this whole list and you see this is showing keywords 1 through 30. There's 800 keywords. So we could cycle through all these pages, uh, looking at every keyword and finding negative keywords. Or uh, let's do this. Let's download this data into a spreadsheet. We'll click download. We can leave this just how it is, Excel CSV format, download. Save file. And then I'll open this right into Microsoft Excel. So now you can see here we have all the same data we were just looking at, um, except it is in spreadsheet format, showing us all of the 800 uh, keyword suggestions. So here's what I want to do with this information. Um, the first thing I'll do is 
copy this keyword column, copy, and then I'm going to paste, and we can just select this first option here that looks like a piece of paper to paste. And that's going to paste this uh, into this column here. And I'll show you why I do that in a second. The next thing we want to do is put this into a table that's a little easier to use. Um, so to do that, we want to click the top left cell here, cell A1. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the table to the bottom right. Now in order to highlight all of this data at once, I'm going to hold down shift and then click on this cell. And you see that highlighted all this data. We'll go to insert table. My table has headers. Uh, yes, it does. So we'll leave that box checked and click OK. So now we have our list here in a table. Um, in this table now you can see we can sort the data if we want to sort it by average monthly searches from largest to smallest. We can do that. Um, if we want to search smallest to largest, we can obviously do that as well. Or we could search the we could sort the keywords in alphabetical order. Um, I like to do largest to smallest here just because that's going to start with the most most widely searched keywords and work our way down. So the next thing I want to do here is take this column and I want to remove the keyword uh, plumber or anything that's very closely related to that. So I want to remove plumber, plumbers, uh, plumbing. So to do that, we'll highlight this column, go back to the Home tab, Find, and Replace. So first I want to find plumbing. And if we leave this replace box blank, it's going to replace plumbing with, with a blank space, um, which is what I want to do in order to remove that word. So we'll click replace all. And you can see it made 137 replacements. Anytime plumbing appeared on here, it, it removed that word. We'll do the same thing with plumbers. Replace all. And then plumber. Replace all. So now you can see we're left with a, a list here of words that are um, related to plumbers, plumbing. These, this list now is our potential list of negative keywords. So all I'm going to do is go down this list. Um, if there's a word here that we uh, that we don't want to exclude from our campaign, then we would delete it. If there's a word that we do want to exclude, if there's a word we think would make a good negative keyword, we'll leave it on the list. So in this case, um, we're, we're doing this as if we're a plumbing service company. So keywords here related to supply, that's a negative keyword. Drain snake would be a negative keyword. Near me, we don't want to exclude 
people searching for plumbers near me. So we'll delete this from the list. Joe the. Now the reason I copied the list um, is so we can still look to the left here and see why is Joe the on the list. So Joe the plumber was the original keyword we had. We can exclude Joe the plumber, supplies, services, we will delete from the negative keyword list. And you just keep going down this list, deleting any words that you don't want to have as a negative keyword, leaving any good negative keywords on the list. It might take you a while. Again, there's 800 keywords on this list. Uh, but when you're done with this, you're going to have a very extensive list of negative keywords. It's going to help you save lots of money in your campaign. Um, so I would say it's definitely worth taking the time to do this. Now, once you're done with that, um, you want to highlight, uh, highlight this whole column. Again, to highlight an entire column, click at the top, hold down the shift key, and click at the bottom. It'll highlight everything. And you can just copy and paste this into your campaign. Uh, you don't need to worry about spaces. Those are fine to leave in there. Um, just copy and paste the whole list and save it to your campaign or save it to a negative keyword list.